following video contains a past metal weapon. We have pulled it from the stash, dusted it off, and slapped it on this build. This build is able to handle both PvE and PvP content. Is this weapon still meta? Still OP? Let's find out. Viewer discretion is advised. Disappearing back No, I won't stand for that One chance is all you get Before you get the axe Try your disappearing trick I won't put up with it I know you think you're quick Fucking get shit on. Now in effect. Vital science critical. System And now. Welcome to intermission. What a rat! Medical assistance needed. Agent down. You want a fucking one v one, so he don't shot me. Okay.
Yo, Mepho with the raid. Got a fucking shoddy on. Faut être facile. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Here, yeah, flat. Oh, oh piece of fire. Rogue agent eliminated. I'm going to bring the whole fucking diseased, corrupt temple down on your head. It's going to be biblical. I'll take my crown now. These voices in my head, I'm telling you to bow down. You don't got control, no, so bow down. I don't give you control, no, so bow down. Yeah, yeah. I'll take my crown now These voices in my head I'm telling you to bow down You don't got control So bow down I don't give you control No, so bow down Yeah, yeah Yes, fucking get the cool You got to turn You got to turn to bow down If you don't match up with the world Then you got to turn to bow down And you got to crown out Another one's out I don't know where that is In my head telling me that I won't make it but I like a challenge so I just keep going trust in the Lord the more that I know the more that I grow the more that I show the devil that is on the bottom of my soul yeah he's on the bottom of my soul this is what I know life comes and life goes and I'm not about to sit around and let time pass me by though the time is now and I ain't going nowhere when fear comes around I tell it bow down Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Righto, so today's build is fantastic for both PvE and PvP. It works great in a team and even solo. Now this build's nothing new. I was recently asked by a subscriber for a fast paced, high damage, high survivability PvE slash PvP build. And I instantly thought, fuck yeah, I've got the perfect build for this. And the perfect build needs the perfect weapon, and by now you all know what that weapon is. That's right, it's a Lady Death, and yes, it's still OP as fuck. With this setup, we get an insane amount of amplified damage. After some testing, there's a slight difference between my personal preference on the way I'll use it in PvE versus PvP, 
and it is a very simple build just to adjust your core stats to make sure the build fits you and your gaming ability. But nonetheless, it's still an OP build that you've got to have saved in your loadouts. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And please everyone engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, the works. All the links for that stuff is in the description. Righto champions, with all that said and done, let's get into the build. Two reds, four blues, no skill tiers, 1.5 million armor. You can adjust the core attributes if you like, but I feel very comfortable with this setup. We're using two pieces of Walker, one Sokolov, one Petrov, one Overlord, and the Exotic Mask. Now specialization wise, you can go a few ways, but for me, Firewall fits this build best. The main reason is that armor kit. Your kits repair 200% of both your armor and health over 10 seconds. Make sure you pop these at the right moment for those almighty push moments. Do keep in mind that both Gunner and Survivalist are decent options too. So for the guns, it wouldn't be much of a Lady Death build without using the Lady Death. Can't take our freedom? That's a lie. Your freedom can always be taken. The only thing standing between you and tyranny is the barrel of your gun. The attributes on this are maxed out and I've upgraded it giving this one an extra 10% weapon damage. The talent is breathe free. When moving, gain 4 stacks per second or 8 stacks if sprinting, up to 32 stacks total. Each round fired consumes a stack amplifying your damage by 75%. Kills are also going to grant a 20% movement speed buff for 10 seconds. Proking this is going to make you feel like the road runner and you're going to be running around going meep meep on dead bodies. Meep meep. Now the 75% amplified damage is for PvE, so we're going to toggle the stats to PvP and we're going to get 60% amplified damage. To get the most out of the damage from the Lady Death, you do want to keep moving to get as many of those stacks before burst firing your opponents. For the secondary, it's complete player preference. I do prefer something that I can use at range if needed, and I've gone with my god tier police M4 with Ranger. Ranger amplifies our weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters we're away. And for the pistol, it's a kind of staple on most PvP builds, it's the Orbit. Rocking Perfect Finisher is going to increase our crit hit chance and crit hit damage, and we can get another 40% crit hit damage from this. Righto, now for the gear on the build. First up, we've got the mask and we've gone with the coyotes. Lived through this bullet. I live through yours. This one's been maxed out and we've got a 12% crit hit damage mod. The talent pack instincts will provide us and our team with bonus crits depending on which range we're playing at. Because we're maining the Lady Death, we will have that extra 25% crit hit damage active most of the time. Now, I have been using the new Catharsis Mask from time to time. Vicious Cycle can give us up to 30% more weapon damage and triggers the Purge at max stacks. In PvE, I like it, but in PvP, I found that at times the Catharsis interfered with the way our chest talent Unbreakable works. I'm not sure if this is a bug, or if they proc at similar times it wigs out, or if it's that old regen unbreakable bug, I don't know. Some of you still might say that a potential of 30% weapon damage is better, but if it's stopping me from getting the most out of another talent, I don't think it's worth it. But swap between the two and see which you prefer and let me know in the comments. For the chest piece, it's one piece of Sokolov for that 10% SMG damage. It's got max armor and I still need to max out my crit hit chance and crit hit damage and we've got another 12% crit hit damage mod. Like I mentioned before, the talent that we have here is unbreakable. Whenever your armor is depleted, repair 50% of your armor back and unbreakable can proc every 60 seconds. This gives another level of survivability to the build and allows us to play a little bit reckless at times, but remember to still play smart. For the holster, we've got the first of two pieces of Walker and Harris, so we get 5% weapon damage, 5% damage to armor, and this one's got max weapon damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. For the knee pads, we've got the named Overlord, the Fox's Prayer, the best in slot for PvP. Max armor, crit hit damage, and that 8% multiplicative damage to targets out of cover. 
Now the keen viewer might have observed that I have upgraded this a little bit. Remember these upgrades aren't based off your core armor rolls, it's based off that 99k so we only get about 10k more. Some say it's not really worth it, overall I've got to agree, it's a waste of resources. But if you do have some spare resources, try and get the most out of your commonly used items and at least upgrade them to level 10. For the gloves, we've gone with Contractors. Again, I've upgraded these to level 10. We've got Max Armor, Critic Damage, and that 8% Multiplicative Damage to Armor. And for the final piece on the build, it's my backpack, and it's my Unicorn, one of the rarest items in the game for some, it's the Matador. Max Armor, Critic Damage, Critic Chance, and a Critic Damage mod. The talent is Perfect Adrenaline Rush. Whenever we're within 10 meters of an enemy, we gain 12% bonus armor for five seconds. This can stack three times and each stack can refresh every five seconds. In PvP, that's going to total 36% bonus armor. And on this setup, that's about 540k bonus armor. Combined with Unbreakable, our damage and our movement, it's pretty bloody crazy. And for PvE, we're gonna get 69% bonus armor total, which is over 1 million bonus armor constantly refreshing. So that's the build. Now, what skills do we wanna use on the build? Like always, it is player preference. For me, especially in PvP, I've got to go with the Defender Drone. Not only do we get damage reduction, but it also mucks up your opponent's aim assist in PvP. And for the second skill, I do swap around from time to time, but I've mostly been using the EMP Sticky. The Disrupt is okay, but the real killer is that Stagger. Other suitable skills could be your Hive, both Bleed and Booster, a Decoy, or even go a little bit cheesy and go with the Foam. It's completely up to you. Righto then, fine print time, the stat sheet. With the OP Lady Death, we're at 60% crit hit chance, which is the cap, and 156% crit hit damage. Playing close range will give us 25% crit hit damage from the Coyotes, and if we proc Orbit at the same time, it's boosting us to 221% crit hit damage. We have 19% damage to armor and that 8% damage to targets out of cover. All multiplicative damages. And for our offensive stats, we've got 55% all weapon damage and 40% SMG damage. So that is the build, Champions. You wanted a fast-paced run and gun build with huge damage and huge survivability for both PvE and PvP content? You got it. And it's all supported by the gun that's still OP as fuck, the Lady Death. It survived multiple patches and updates and it's still top of the class. And I hope that doesn't change. So what do you reckon? Are you going to be a champion and have a crack at my Lady Death build? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. And like always, show your content creators your support. Like, share, comment and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's going to wrap it up for this one and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum. Plum out.